back for another five video block set. Uh, you guys saw, I believe, uh, lost track. I've I don't remember, but that was a little clip of MTV's old promos way back when MTV actually played music. Remember those days? Um, band called Fashion, their song called I Talk. And then before that was the late, great, legendary Marvin Gaye with Sexual Healing. And the track before that was a tribute to Marvin and to Jackie Wilson by the Commodores called The Night Shift. One of the few hits they had after Lionel Richie left the group. And then before that was Treat Her Like a Lady by The Temptations, which was a huge R&B hit for the Mini Force. Rather, Dennis uh, Edwards left the group again. So it was basically Otis and Melvin and a bunch of other guys, I guess. I shouldn't say that. There might be some fans of that era of Temptations that would get after me for it. But, well, they weren't mentioned in the movie, folks. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, and then I started off the set with uh, a classic one from Smile Tap, Hell Hole. All right. Uh, the, in this last segment of classic clips from the 80s is one of my favorites. I guess it's one of my favorite sports, if you want to call it sports. Of course, some people like Vince McMahon would call it sports entertainment. Of course, he made it. So, excuse me. Sports entertainment back in the uh, in the 80s. He's destroyed the business for his own gain, but he also helped the business too as well. But <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about pro wrestling, of course. And, of course, back in the 80s, it was the three, big three. We had the AWA. And that was a message for me here. Um, yeah, AWA and um, WAF, which is now WE. And NWA, which is still around, but not as strong as it used to be, obviously. Um, but at the time, 84, there were three big uh, world champions. Um... My question is to the pro wrestling fans out there, uh, who do you think was the better champion at that time? Was it Rick Martel, who was the AWA world champion? Hulk Hogan, who was the WF world champion at the time? Or, woo! Ric Flair, who was the NWA world champion at the time. Um, I liked all three of them. Of course, Hogan and Flair had you know, the bigger legacy. I mean, Rick Martel ended up after being able As the villain, as the model. So, I mean, Rick didn't have much of a chance to be a world champion, I guess, in WF. And he wrestled in WCW for a bit. But uh, I leave it up to the audience here who are pro wrestling fans. Who do you think was the better champion at that point? Rick Martel, Hulk Hogan, or Ric Flair? And when I get back from the segment and showing some old promos of Rick and Hulk and Rick, you know, Flair, you know, Rick Martel, Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair. Um, Start off with a classic harmony track by Greg Abbott's Shake It Down. So, stay tuned. <laughs> 